of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Professional. You ready to fight? Ready. Go well, it may not be tabbed Fight Island any longer, but it is still a major destination for the UFC. Great to be with you tonight from the Eddie Hall Arena in Abu Dhabi, where a lot of high-level fighters are set to compete. It's going to be a great night. Every time we come here to Abu Dhabi, the fights are absolutely fantastic. Let's see if the fight tonight can live up to what we have seen up to this point. Stuffs the takedown, no throws. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. That's the way he beats him up. That's a solid kick right there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Single leg takedown. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. The arm triangle is getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. A big part of submission defense is just being able to relax in the face of adversity. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Got to be careful here. All right, this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be on your belly with your opponent on your back, flattening you out. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an on bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal grounding pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, guy will have a very tough time Maneuvering out of a lot of he threw that one with all of his power. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Now, 
to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, the professional. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there.